subscribing and leaving comments. Bigfoot is still on the loose. Next, is this the missing link? See for yourself when we set out in search of Bigfoot. Besides, your bears are usually more afraid of us than we are of them. Somehow I doubt that. Are you sure? He's, he's looking this way. Yes, I'm sure. But just to play it safe, let's put some distance between uh, us and him. Yeah. Mm. What smell? I smell that too. What is that? Must be a skunk. Ooh. Uh -huh. Let's hustle out of here. <laughs> Whoa, a monarch. Big deal. 
What's wrong with him? Everything. The way he always has to examine things. The way he thinks he's so smart collecting stupid specimens. And the disgusting noises he makes with his nose. He has allergies. He can't help that. Don't be so critical. Me? Critical? You should hear the way he talks about my harmonica. Look, Sam. Will you give me a break? I really like Kevin's dad. Now, can't you just try, be nice, for me? Couldn't you and Dad give it another try? I mean, isn't there any way It's you over guys... between your dad and me, honey. I think we both need to get used to that. Now, I need you. I need your help right now. We both need each other. You don't need me. You need him. I need you, too. You can marry Dr. Emerson, but that will never be my brother! Sam! Just like home? Can Sam and I fit in there? Clearly. <laughs> Oh, another world. Listen to that string. Isn't that beautiful? Couldn't you just stay up here forever? I don't know about forever, but uh, it really is beautiful. I'll give you that. For me, there's nothing like being up in the mountains. I mean, being away. No doorbells, no phones. No beepers. <laughs> you, uh, want to take a little walk upstream? I have a favorite spot on your ship. Sounds wonderful. I need to make an observation. I have to make an observation. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Listen, Cap Samantha, Laura and I are going to take a hike up the stream about a mile. We'll be back before dark. I am leaving you in charge. Oh, Dad, can I take a hike? Well, son, uh, we sort of wanted to be alone. No, I want to take a hike up a hill over there. Well, maybe tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to be okay by yourself? I don't die of being bored, but I know when I'm not wanted. Goodbye, Sam. We'll be back soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. What are you looking at? Buzzards. Something must be dying up there. Oh, don't tell me you collect buzzards, too. It's gotta be something big. You can smell it from here. Too far away to smell, stupid. Well, I smell something. I got my allergies. I can't smell anything. Maybe you smell your music. Maybe I smell your breath. And I'm not stupid. You're probably a bighorn sheep. At least I hope it is. Why do you hope it's a dead sheep? Not just any sheep, a bighorn sheep. I've always wanted to get the horns. The Chinese use them as medicine. As like a love potion. A love potion? Yeah, you know, you want somebody to fall in love with you, you grind up the horn and put it in their food. Sounds lame. Sore? Well, that's why I want a specimen, so I can find out. Do you think it'd make divorced people fall in love again? I don't know, maybe. How long would it take us to hike up that hill? I don't know, it doesn't look too far. Hey, let's go. Let's go. My dad told us to stay here. You're such a wimp. What, are you afraid of buzzards, too? We'll see you as a wimp. Get your stuff. What stuff? What stuff? You can't be flashlight compass and first aid kit. Just the hike up there? Distances can be deceptive in the woods. Rule number one is never leave camp without basic survival gear. Rule number one, never leave camp without basic survival gear. If we find any horns, I get half. Come on.
see those pictures first, though. No, I saw them last week. Trust me, I did. Yes, sir, I saw it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. Look, Samantha, this is farther than I thought. I mean, I can't even see the camp from here. Well, the bones are just up ahead. Be careful. took the binoculars and their survival kits. They've probably gone on a hike. But where? He wanted to go to the top of that hill. It's gonna be dark soon. Wouldn't they be back by now? They're probably on their way back now. Listen, you stay here. I'll take a hike up the ridge and check it out. 
I, why can't I go with you? Because somebody's got to be here when they come back. Zach, I, I don't want to stay here by myself. They're probably on their way back now. There is nothing to be worried about. Hopefully the weather will hold. Listen, Laura, they've got each other. They're going to be fine. I really trust Kevin. And I'm sure there's a very good reason why they're not back yet. I mean, Kevin probably went on one of his specimen hunts and he lost track of time. Or maybe they're just a little lost. Whatever the reason is, I'm sure it's fine. I really trust Kevin. There's some matches. Build a fire. You can do that, right? Huh? Right, right. Okay. Sit by it. Try and stay calm. There is nothing to be afraid of. I'll be back soon. You better find him, Zack. out the clothes. No, this guy's for real. This, my Indian friend, is a Bigfoot. Sounds like a storm over the Wallowers. Sasquatl must be angry. Maybe they know you're coming for them. And my grandfather used to talk about them all the time. So you said you didn't believe in that stuff anymore. <laughs> I said I did. I'm just giving you a little atmosphere. You know, as long as you're renting my bird, I'll believe anything. That's right. If you stick with me, you could have a whole fleet of choppers. I mean, what kind of life is it? Dropping off skiers in the winter, starving in the summer, eh? Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, you don't mind. Lazo, that is so passive. You've got to take control of your life, man. Pick your own destiny. What? And your destiny is to capture a Bigfoot? Is that it? Yes, sir. Certainly is. This year. Yes, sir.
okay? I'm fine. Uh, are the kids with you? No. I was hoping they'd be with you. I couldn't make it up to the top last night. I'm afraid the weather got the best of me. It's my fault. Everything. Don't say that. The only important thing now is that we find the kids. Right, right. How'd you make out last night? Well, I survived being scared to death. So what do we do now? Go back. Go back? Get out. Zach, that's a full day's hike. They could be dead by then. We can't search for them by ourselves. We've got to go back and get help. I'm staying. Don't talk nonsense, Laura. You cannot stay here by yourself. I am not leaving here without my daughter and your son.
doing? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> any way up here. The kid might have found one. Stay here. Okay. Zach, you be careful. children. They came this way. Yeah. They've been near here. You've seen them. They're all right. The skull. Put it down. Follow me. Someone tried to climb around this boulder and slid down. They could still be down there. Maybe. Only one of them fell. The other one climbed down. How can you tell? I can tell. If you want to find your children, I suggest you descend here. Only stay over to the left there. There are more rocks to hold on to. belong to one of your children? Look at Sam. Beth, they were here. Okay, okay. But where did they go? Someone was carried out of here. Looks like they took off in that direction. If she was carried, that means she might be hurt. Maybe. Kevin probably carried her. She was taken out. And not by Kevin. By who? By a Sasquatch. A Bigfoot. A Bigfoot? Uh-huh. Right. Wait a minute. You're saying my little girl was taken by a Bigfoot? That's what I said. We better get going. We have only a couple of hours of daylight left. A Bigfoot? Listen, Laura. Listen to me now. This woman is just a little odd, all right? I mean, if there was snow on the ground, she'd probably be saying it was an abominable snowman. That's a Yeti. They live in the Himalayas. Not much time, right? So what do you think? I've named it the Bigfoot Special. Oh yeah, when's it coming? They're delivering it to the base camp. Should be there tomorrow sometime. I remember reading about your Yeti expedition. Well, you sure know how to get attention. You know, Laszlo, I get the feeling that you don't take me very seriously. I just don't take anything seriously anymore. 
Well, then prepare to be reborn, lad, because this time I'm going to succeed. This time, nothing's going to get away from me. I'm, uh, I'm Laura Oniger, and this is Zach Emerson. Dr. Gladys Samko. Oh, how about that? Zach's a doctor, too. He's an oral surgeon. Oh, how about that? So what makes you such an expert on big I'm an anthropologist. I've been studying the Sasquatl for 18 years. Those bones we found up on the rock, they come from a Bigfoot? Yes, a juvenile Sasquatch, probably only a few years old. What exactly are they? Some kind of gorilla? No more than we are. My theory has always been that they're descended from the giant Epithecus, a species of ape man whose remains have been found in India, China. They're very much like human. Unlike the human, they were never able to manage technology. Most of them were probably exterminated by early man. The few who survived live in places the humans avoid, like swamps, mountains. Like the Yeti. Exactly. Listen, do they have, like, a, a really unusual odor? That's a pheromone. A defense mechanism designed to repel the enemy. Some defense. Humans smell bad to them, too. As we do to most animals. All right. My place is up here just a little ahead. Lock up like this, but there's a rogue bear in the neighborhood. This is what they look like. You, uh, all by yourself up here? The people in town call me the Witch of the Walla Walla. Sociological adaptation among Walla Walla gigantopithecoids. Catchy. Do you mind? Sorry. Seven years of actual observation, and I can never publish it. You have no, uh, actual photographic evidence. I don't need photographs. I know what I know. Why would one of these things want to take my little girl? Any number of reasons. She could be injured, and they try to help her. Just as you might try to help an injured animal. Poor kids. Please listen. The Sasquatch are sensitive and intelligent. They would never harm your children intentionally. Intentionally? We gotta get some help. We don't need any help. The Sasquatch follow a regular pattern of migration. I can find them in two or three days. Two or three days? The Forest Service can send up a helicopter. No, absolutely not. The last thing I want up here is a helicopter. Forget about your precious Bigfoot. We're worried about children. And I am thinking about your children. If those animals are frightened, they'll bolt. They can run up to 30 miles an hour. They can hide where nobody will ever find them, and you will never see your children again. There are plenty of 
food. Well, thank you very much for your hospitality, but uh, we are going with you. It's too risky. The Sasquatch know my scent. They're used to it. But if they pick up yours, they'll bolt. And with your children, the only chance is my going alone. Those are our children out there, Doctor. Just do as I say at all times. And I warn you, it is not an easy hike. Here, you 
Forget it. We're going to starve to death. I just know it. Maybe not. I just remembered. I picked these when I was looking for you last night. Juneberries. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, Mom said it's kind of dangerous to eat any kind of berries unless you're sure you know what they are. Hey, I'm sure. I've taken specimens of them before. Specimens, of course. Just eat them, all right? Mm. Uh, um, I don't think they want us to eat the berries. Maybe you can eat only what they give you. Um, maybe it's rude, Kevin. Um, maybe they are poisonous. Either way, they look kind of mad at me. Uh, sorry if I uh, enter. Uh, nice, nice big feet. I didn't mean to... Uh, uh, Kevin, it's not your berries. It's your smile. What's wrong with my smile? I don't know. Um, maybe showing teeth is an insult. Let me check it out. Like that, I wouldn't have much to smile about either. I don't think you want to make them angry right now. It was delicious. It was very good. It was very nice of you. Hey, you know that's how they smile. Like they're kissing. Kevin, you try it. Well, there's nothing. occurred to me on the way up here. Something that I think you should know. What's that? There's a chance that one child or both of them has been adopted by the Sesquaddle. Adopted? <coughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> by the Bigfoot? It's very possible that they're a replacement for the juvenile whose bones you found. So what does that mean? It means that the female may not be too willing to let them go. Don't worry. We'll find a way. You two should get some rest. It's gonna be a cold night. Especially for Sam and Kevin. Shh, shh, shh. Good. Ghost 
open. I don't know how. Well, what do you think of my fire pit? Good. I'm looking outdoors woman out of you yet. Kevin? Hmm? Did you ever miss your mom? Of course. Well, would you ever want another one? I don't know. I guess it depends on who it is. Well, what if your dad liked someone but you didn't? Well, I guess I'd have to go along with him. It's pretty tough for him, too, you know. Well, what if your dad wanted to marry my mom? Would you want me as a sister? Would you want me as a brother? Well, I asked you first. It's not that easy, Sam. So you wouldn't like it? I didn't say that. I just said it's not that easy. It would be kind of nice to have a mom, though. And a sister. I'd have to think about it, though. Me, too. Come on, let's get this fire started. Matches. All righty. I sure hope you taste better than you look. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Hey, not too many of them. You'll smother it. Just a few at a time. This is going to be great. Bad news, Kevin. Gave you that idea. Now what? You like sushi? Neat. Listen, Sam. You gotta get out of here now. How long before you can walk? I don't know, um, tomorrow maybe. Well, as soon as you can walk regularly again, we're getting out of here. What if they don't let us? We'll have to sneak out when they're asleep. All I know is our parents must be going nuts. Eagle Cap. The way they're moving, they have to be up there somewhere. Looks like a long climb. We'd better get started. No, I'm going alone. And this time I have to insist on going alone. You promised to do whatever I told you, and I'm telling you both to stay here. I may need you later. Well, it's almost sunset. How do you expect to find anything in the dark? Oh, I know what I'm doing. And no fires. I don't know how you can stand that. Even I can smell them. Well, it's kind of funny, but they don't smell so bad to me anymore. Doesn't that bug you having to pick through your hair like that? Not really. It's kind of nice. <laughs> parents must be going crazy. Well, I don't think that Alice wants me to go. Alice? Oh, well, I named her Alice after my aunt Alice, because she kind of looks like her. And I named him Albert, because there's this kid in my class who used to call him Albert the Eighth. Oh, of course. Well, are we still going to sneak away? Yeah, unless you got a better idea. Well, I just know they're going to catch us. Like I said, we'll have to go when they're asleep. Seems to be most of the time. Laura? Yes? I'm sorry. I don't blame you. You should. It's all my fault. Don't be sorry. 
so hard on yourself. Yeah, I think that's part of your problem. You try too hard. But don't you understand? You don't have to prove anything to anybody. Especially me. I guess I'm still trying to prove stuff to myself and to me. Ever since Carol died, it's been... Uh, it's been hard. I, I mean, raising Kevin alone and all, I just... Never really felt that I could. I got news for you, Zach. You're doing it. Kevin's a great kid. And he knows he has a great father. Mr. Bear, it's just me. Well? Did you find them? Of course I found them, and from what I could tell, they're okay. Thank God. And I have got to sit down. Uh, where are they? Uh, they're in a hidden canyon on the south slope, not very far from here. I got as close as I could without them seeing me. The female was carrying her little girl. While she fed. Looks as if they've been adopted. What are we going to do? We'll sneak them away. Sometime after daybreak. While the Sasquatl is still asleep. What do we do if they wake up? We talk them into letting the kids go. Say that again. I mean, we try to persuade them. How? By demonstrating to them the bond between you and Sam. Showing them how much she means to you, to her, to... Things like that. Yeah, well, we better get a move on. Not you, just Laura. It's my kid up there, too. Listen. The Sasquatch will trust me. At least I think they do. They might allow me to bring another woman. But if they smell a man, they'll bolt. And with your children, in other words. All right, okay. Uh, we'll approach up winded. But come on now. There's got to be something. Uh, Zach, you are a nice guy. But sometimes you make me very tired. Zach, look, there's, there's no time to argue. Now Gladys knows she seems to know what she's talking about. She found the kid. So let's do what she says. Just let me sleep for an hour, and then we'll move. What are you doing? Oh, I saw her doing this yesterday. She feels great. <laughs> you look like Pocahontas. Listen, Sam, it's time we left. My ankle. Your ankle's fine. I saw you walk out here this morning. What's the rush? What do you mean, what's the rush? Well, I think Alex needs me. <sighs> what about your own mother, Sam? Don't worry, we'll get back to her soon. Sam! Big deal.
Sasquatch will hurry up now. Come on. All right. to show you. What is it? A surprise. Come on. Don't wake him up. Put this on. We're getting out of here. What about Alice? Forget Alice. We've got to go now. Well, I gotta go say goodbye. No, Samantha. You don't belong here, little girl. I'm going to take you to your mommy. Now, come on. Run. 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 Go. Now you get into position, 
We're running out of time. Yeah, yeah.
spend 20 years preparing the Sasquatl to meet humanity in peace and friendship as one intelligent species to another. Instead, they meet Jack Kendricks. Nothing more we can do. Do you think she'll die? I don't know. She's bleeding pretty bad and the bullet's still in there. Why would somebody shoot her? She never hurt anybody. A lot of people do a lot of things. I guess when we don't understand something, we get afraid. And the only way to keep from being afraid is to control it. Or collect it. Come on, Sam. We gotta go get her help, like right away. But I don't want to leave her. We have to. We don't know what else to do. Alice, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna go get help. Okay, come on. One of the Sasquatl acted as a decoy. The other one must still be with the kids. You get any idea where that might be? Well, there are a few places. It's a series of caves over there. In fact, Juvenile was born in one of them. What are we waiting for? Find some help for Alice. Don't worry, we will. Thank you. 
children were here. Probably left to keep anybody from finding the Sasquatch. Let's go after him. Not yet, Dr. Emerson. You said you wanted to help. Now you have your chance. Please. Hurry up, Kevin. Try him. Thank you. 
hold up much hope. She's, uh, she's lost so much blood. You're a good nurse. Just a nurse. You're a good, uh, everything. <laughs> She's awake. Go on now. I know your kids are fine. Uh, I'm gonna thank you. Zach, Laura, please, go get your kids. The sooner everybody is out of these mountains, the sooner I will be a happy lady. <laughs> nice to meet you, Gladys. Thank you. 
get it, Sam. No, you get it. If you gotta get up there, I'll get it. I'll, I'll get it. Careful. Watch this claw. Okay. You gotta cock it for cock it. Gladys. Gladys. 
That is Sancho. You come back. You come back here! enjoying all this rare and unique content, please show your support by subscribing and leaving comments.